Let's talk a very common application of electricity and electrical equipment. We're going to talk about batteries. Now one of the interesting things is if you have two pieces of metal, uh, say copper and iron, uh, Fe for iron, and you have some electrolyte between them, say uh, water with a little bit of a drop or two of acid in it for example, then electrons will flow from one to the other. And what we actually have here is that we end up with a potential difference in voltage from there. So if we run a wire from there, stick a voltmeter on it, we current will flow from one side to the other. So we actually end up with the we actually end up with a potential difference or voltage. So this is really cool. I mean, a really simple one you can do is get a potato or a lemon. Lemon's got a little bit of acid. Stick a couple of plates in there. You know, it's the same, copper and iron. And then you can actually run a small voltage device like, I know, um, people have used it for running little clocks or little fans or whatever. And you'll get a voltage between these. This, so this is actually really cool. Um, places this is useful, like... Um, Normally the voltage that's generated between these is going to be between about 1 to 2 to 2.4 volts difference between these two. Uh, one place this is really useful is if you've got a car battery, for example. The car battery runs at 12 volts. So what we do is we have lead plates in there. And we have lead and a lead sulfate plate. And again we get this flow of electricity between them. So, but, and this will generate 2.1 volts. The trouble is, you'll notice I said this was a 12 volt battery. So how do we get more than 12 volts? How do we get more than 2.1 volts? And the answer is, well, this 2.1 volt we call a cell. So we draw it, the symbol for a cell is like that. But if we stack a whole lot of cells in series, in a row, so usually six or seven in a car battery. Now each of these, because they're in series, the electrons must go from one to the other to the other, we can multiply that by six. So 2.1 volts times six equals 12.6 volts. And that's going to be a nominal voltage. So if we stick batteries in series, and what series increase the voltage. So there's probably a couple of words um, we have to use define in here. What do I mean by volt, uh, by series? When I talk about the word series, think of a serial. If you watch a TV serial like um, Days of Our Lives or Shortland Street or whatever, that is a series of episodes that you must watch in order. You must do this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. So in this case, these are hooked up in a row. So the electrons must go through here, through here, through here, through here. So, so series, the electrons must go through each plate, must go through all the elements. The elements. Okay, so a battery, by definition, is going to have a positive plate and a negative plate. So we always say that the big plate is going to be positive. It's going to be positive, positive, positive. So when we're in series, we're going to hook the positive plates up to the, neg of the, to the negative plate of the next battery, and so on, and so on, and so on. And this increases voltage. Another way of hooking up batteries is we can stick them in parallel. Like so, often we'll put a symbol like this to show that there's more than one cell. So, so basically what we have here, I'm oh, sorry, I should say, in this case, you get some electrons from here and some electrons from here. So in parallel, Electrons have a choice of paths. A choice of paths. We can get an electron from here or from there, or both. But 
the electron from here can't travel through this one and vice versa of choice of paths so why would we hook up two batteries like that in parallel and that's simple um, because in parallel batteries in parallel in parallel increase the current and we'll just define um, that in a second so the more that we put in parallel the bigger the current the more that we stick in series the bigger the voltage um, so let's let's do an example we've got exercise um, 4.7 Size 4.7. So portable radios, portable um, sound systems, systems often use six times 1.5 volt cells in series. And the reason for putting them in series is to increase the voltage. What's the resultance? What is the potential? Um, what is the potential difference? What potential difference? Okay, so let's let's work this out. So what we have is we have six cells in a row: one, two, three, four, five, six. Each is 1.5 volts so the voltage is going to equal six times because they're in parallel oh sorry they're in series 1.5 volts equals nine volts just a couple of other words on batteries there are two types of batteries well two types there are primary batteries and these are non-rechargeable if you try and charge them, you'll often get a very loud bang sound and end up with crap all over your living room. Don't ask me how I know this. Primary batteries, these are things like lithium batteries, um, carbon zinc batteries, zinc batteries. These are, these are basically your one-shot, one-time batteries that you... You also get secondary batteries. And these are chargeable. You can charge them up. So these are things like um, lithium-ion batteries, which you use on your laptops. Uh, lead acid, which you use in your car, and and so on. So these ones. So primary batteries you use once, you throw them away, throw them in the rubbish heap. Secondary batteries you use them, then you just recharge them and away you go. There is other places where this is just to be avoided. Remember what we were saying before, if you have any two metals and an electrolyte, and a liquid for example, usually a liquid but it can also be a solid, they can conduct electricity between them, you'll get this happening you'll get what happens is in a primary battery this copper and this iron will get oxidized or they'll be destroyed in the process and that's why you can't recharge them there's places where this can be really bad if you have a ship for example so you've got a ship and you've got ship propellers What's actually interesting here is if this is iron and the propellers are copper and salt water acts like an electrolyte, if you have any any gap to, or if you have any short circuit between there, you get an electric current generated. And what happens is it rusts your ship and it destroys your propellers. So when you're dealing when making ships for salt water particularly, you have to be very careful of what metals you use and what materials you use and how you use them. Otherwise, they, your ship acts like a battery and then just rusts out and sinks. So, 
So anyway, batteries, if you want to increase the voltage, you stick them in series. If you want to increase the voltage, you stick them in series. If you want to increase the current, you stick them in parallel.